Welcome back to Hyrule Lux, where luxury and style are attainable. We have a handbag video today, my favorite kind of videos. I haven't done one in a while. I also haven't been on YouTube and it feels like forever. So forgive me if I'm a little rusty today. Um, there was just a lot going on. I was traveling a lot. My Amazon collection, my third Amazon collection came out, um, but we're back on our schedule now. So I figured I'd come back with one of my favorite videos. My goal for these videos is always to provide um, information if you're interested in any of these bags. I'll give you like pros and cons, how long I've had it, any wear or tear. If there, I feel like there's any like pertinent information um, that would help you make a buying decision. That's basically what we're gonna do. And then I will try to link any of the bags that are available below as well. They'll either be like from stores, boutiques, or like pre loved markets. So we're gonna start with the brand I have the most of, which is Chanel. Let's start with the newest bag. First up is going to be this heart bag that I absolutely in love with. It does come with um, a chain and it has a little front flat pocket. This is the larger size. Um, I got it from the Chanel Boutique in Tyson's Corner. I actually went there when we visited and saw it, um, but I still wasn't sure. And then I had it mailed to me when I got back home <laughs> because I just could not resist. I thought I wanted another color, but Honestly, um, I saw Nori, she's the YouTuber here. You should make sure you check her out. Um, she unboxed the black and I just feel like it's a little more of my style and classic. And she was saying how like, because it's the heart, it already makes it kind of like girly and like a little like kitschy. So it's like, if it was like in pink or purple, I think those are really cute, but I think I would wear it way less. And I've been wearing this a lot and it's super easy to style. And I think it's cause I got it in black. So this is that, um, it has two pockets on each side. It has a little flat back pocket. Um, and then it has this little front flat pocket, which I think you can like cash in. But I absolutely love it. It's a great crossbody length. Very, very happy I got this. And I didn't have a crossbody black bag. So now I have this one. All right. And right before I got that one, I got, I think, I'm not going in any particular order, but I got this little, it's not even really a bag, but I mean, it costs the amount of a bag, but I got this during New York Fashion Week in the boutique inside Saks. And this is just like a little night out bag, basically. I really love it. I pop up some pictures where I wore it and I kind of just like held it like that. And it's just so ladylike and dainty. I really love it. Um, you just push it down and it opens up and it literally fits nothing but cards. Like it is a night out kind of like glam bag. It has a little mirror inside. It's just so cute. It's so cute. Um, I could not resist. I just feel like this is kind of like something I can wear a lot, but it's also one of those like collector things. Like in 20 years, I can still pull this out and it'll be like, where did you get that thing? Even when I first bought it before, like, where did you get that? It was just sitting on the shelf in Chanel. So that's that one. Um, I gotta move faster. <laughs> uh, next up is my Chanel Gabrielle backpack, which I absolutely love. I packed this for about um, three, no, probably longer. I think I bought this in like 2018 and I love it. Um, I cleaned this with a magic eraser and it's, as you can see, still looks great. There's like no stains or anything on it. I'm sure if you held it up against like a brand new one, it's probably not as white, but on a day to day, like I can't tell the difference. It still looks great. Um, this is a smaller size as well. And I love this bag. It's definitely like a vacation bag, but it's a bag I would never get rid of. Um, Chanel backpacks are classic. It'll never, you know, be out of style. And I absolutely love that I got the white and the black. I just feel like it's like classic Chanel. Next up, um, my Chanel 19. I only have one Chanel 19. I have bought three Chanel 19s and sold two. Um, I fell in love with this when I first got it, but then I quickly realized I just liked this one. Um, after I bought the other ones, I just never wore them. This is the Tweed, it's navy. And I think this is like the medium size. Like there's a smaller one and then there's like the really, really big one. And this is like in between, in between. Um, the Tweed does wear. So just FYI, I'm fine with that. I like my bags to be worn and used and I don't mind that. This is a very casual bag to me, so I don't need it to be like super stiff and prim and proper. But as you can see, it slouches over time and then just the tweed gets worn, it's just fabric. So FYI, if you want something that's gonna stay looking pristine, I would not get tweed, I would get leather. But this is my only tweed bag and I'm totally fine with it. It has a huge pocket in the back and it just fits a lot. It was a very big bag, so I love this one. And I got that at, I think also in the Tyson Chanel. Tyson's corner. Next up is this sequin Chanel. This is from, 
I'm not good at collections, but I got it last year and it was in the new collection. Um, and I just love this bag. I don't wear it a ton, but it's just, when I saw it, I just fell in love. And it's just like one of those collector's things. You need to see what you know bag. Um, I wanna say this is like the, it's bigger than a medium classic flap. Um, it's, it doesn't have like a double flap inside. It's just smooth. Um, and the chains are longer. So maybe it's like a jumbo. I don't have like a regular jumbo, but it's probably like that size. But I just love, it's navy and I've really been into navy and I just love the different colors. I'm hoping to wear it more, but I just think it's so special and unique. And again, just one of those things I can always pull out. And I just feel like Chanel sequence bags never go out of style. So I love this. And it's a seasonal bag. Um, I always recommend if you're trying to get into, obviously get what you want and what you have your heart set on, but um, seasonal bags are really the way to go now. They're still in that $4,000 to $5,000 price range. Um, as opposed to like the classic flaps that are like 8,000. So, and all of these bags I've shown so far were all bought at the boutiques, but we are gonna get into some pre-love bags. So, no worries. Oh, next up is a pre-love bag. This is called the Chanel Eiffel Tower, I think. Um, this was bought pre-loved, and I have all the chains uh, tucked in, but it has a regular chain. It is so pretty, it has a little Eiffel Tower here. Um, I got this from Fashion File for such a good deal. Now, mind you, all of my pre-love bags were bought at least two years ago, but mainly three years ago. So I got really good deals that you're probably not gonna be able to find now, but I'm still gonna share. Um, but I absolutely love this one. This is like a mini, I believe, single flap. Um, and it's just like canvas fabric, so it does get dirty, like the bottom is kind of dirty. But again, I could just like, you know, scrub it a little bit, but also don't need it to be pristine. This is just like a cute little summer bag. I can wear it crossbody. And it's very cute and I love the colors. So now we're gonna get into all of my classic flaps, which are all pre-loved. I've never bought a classic flap from the store. Um, when I started getting into bags, I only bought pre-loved. That's all I could afford. Um, and that just made the most sense for me. And now the prices are just, <laughs> I'm not doing it. Um, so my first ever classic flap was this vintage black um, classic double flap. It is very old. It has the 24 karat gold hardware, um, double flap. And it has like the it's like burgundy interior. Um, it is very, very old. I would never sell this bag because honestly I would get nothing for it. Like it's been um, like repainted. Um, it's like collapsing on the side, but it's my first one. So I'm just gonna keep it forever. Um, so yeah, but it's, it's very old. But when I need a black classic flap and I just wanna wear something on my shoulder, I pop up the, a picture of the last time I wore it it still does the job so <laughs> it is fine with me and I got this from Fashion File for like 1700 1600 something like that I know I know you hate me I know um the next one I got I believe was this one I did not expect people to love this bag as much as they do anytime I show it people are like what is that I just found this on Fashion File when I was again just trying to build my collection was not looking for a green bag but I saw this thought it was really interesting it's a green like patent leather um it's a medium double flap it has again the double flap on the inside silver hardware and it also has like a little discoloration it's hard to see but patent leather is not great for longevity either so you can see like down here it was in the sun a little bit so it's like a little brighter green there um same thing like on the pocket in the back it's a little brighter green there but I still love it every time I wear it um people ask about it so love this and I love that it has silver hardware um yeah so this is I got this from Fashion File and I know I paid 1700 for this next up is my holy grail now this I don't I don't have a ton of wish list items but this was one of them and it was a vintage red classic double flap oh, I, love it so much. I love the look of vintage um, classic flaps more than new ones. I love how it's like not puffy. It's all like deflated and flat. I love that. It says 24 karat gold. I don't know the years and all that, but <laughs> um, I got this one from Fashion File, but it took me two years to find it. Like I would search literally every day. <laughs> and I saw, I think I saw one on Pinterest. And I was like, that is the red, like the red classic flap I want. And it took a long time to find, but finally I found it, I want to say like three years ago. It's just, look at the gold. It's just, it's so good. Um, this is lambskin, so it is very, um, it's not super durable. Um, and when I got it, it was the summertime and I wore the hell out of it. Like I took it on every vacation. And so I've had to like sit it down for the last few years and just like give it a break. Like it started to get corner wear. 
So um, yeah, lambskin is definitely a little more. I also like the colors look so good in lambskin. So that's why I would still get them. Um, also, if you find a really good deal pre-loved, I always recommend getting it and taking it to leather surgeons. I have never taken a bag there yet, but that is like, I have them saved and I shop them out all the time. I follow them on Instagram, leather surgeons. They, I mean, anyone in the handbag community knows about them, but they do incredible work. Like they make bags look brand new. Check out their Instagram. But like, that's what I told myself when I bought this white bag. I was like, if I ever have any issues with it, I'll just send it to them. They'll repaint it. They will take, they take apart the whole bag. They will take out like all the hardware and polish it. They'll paint the whole thing. They will like take out all of the leather from the chain, repaint it, like re-glaze the gold. They, they do everything. So, and a little tip. If you're interested in getting like a pre-loved bag and maybe it's a little worn down, like don't let that deter you if it's a really good deal. Next up, another holy bag, another holy grail bag I would never ever sell. <laughs> sell is this uh, pink classic flap medium. This is in um, caviar leather, which I do not prefer caviar leather, but you can't really tell with this one. Um, and it's in silver, and it's my favorite shade of pink. It's just like the prettiest pink that goes with everything. It's like a little pastelly muted, so it's not like too much of a pop of color, but it's such a pretty pop of color. I love it so much. That silver hardware, which I also love, I feel like that makes it a little like fresher and a little you know younger it doesn't feel too stuffy um double flap um, i have this chain on it i've had it since i got it which makes it like a top handle um and i love that and it's just yeah love this i got this in st louis at a, a consignment store called the luxury vault they're on instagram as well so i also recommend um, checking out like your local area and I usually just if I go to a city I'll type in Yelp luxury consignment stores and usually you can find better deals than like bigger companies that are online so recommend that and then the last Chanel the last Chanel bag I have I actually bought in store but it is a flap so that's why I have it over here oh, and it's this little mini this is I guess my I have the I guess these are both minis so this is I don't think this this is a seasonal bag so I don't think it has like an official name but this is like a rectangle mini um it does not have a double flap i have it tied with a ribbon on the inside because i like the chain to be short so you can see it like right now i can just carry it as a top handle oh, i love that um this was a seasonal bag so as you can see it's like this pretty green and then the inside is blue um i could not resist this bag i was just shopping i got this at tyson's corner in the chanel boutique and when i saw it i was like yes that um and this also came in a medium I want to say this was like 4,000. The medium at the time, I think was 76. It was like when the increases started. And the essay was like, oh, like you should just get the medium if you really like it. And I was like, girl, you're not about to give you spend $3,000 more dollars. <laughs> I'll take the mini and I'll be fine. Um, in great condition. I've had this for, I think like a year and a half now. I think I got it last year, like the beginning. Love the hardware. It's like rainbow. It's so pretty. This is lambskin and it's done great. Like there's no wear and tear anywhere and I wore it like a lot last summer. It's definitely a summer bag. So those are all the Chanel bags. And I want to say if I didn't mention the um, like material, I probably don't know it off the top of my head. I don't ask a ton of questions and I don't really like create big wish lists when I shop either. I just go in the store and see what I like. Sometimes I'm looking for something, but sometimes I'm just waiting for something to find. So next up is Bottega. I actually thought I had the most of <laughs> Bottega, but I forgot I sold some recently. So let me know if I should do handbags I've sold in why video. Um, first up is going to be the Bottega pouch. And this has like these lines in it. I don't know what that's called. This is just like the, the normal big pouch. I love this. I did have this in red and I sold it. Um, but I do love this bag and I'm tempted to sell this one too and get the smaller pouch. Now that we're just going out more, I need less casual bags and I need more like evening dinner kind of bags. And I love this so much. So let me know what you think. I'm on the fence about it. But I also love this in the summer as like a day bag because it's just kind of like, even with this outfit, it's just kind of like extra, but also like you can fit so much stuff in here. Like, you know, camera if I'm vlogging, phone, makeup, sunscreen, uh, sunglasses, keep like you can fit everything in here. So I feel like I should keep this just because it's never going to go out of style. But yeah, next up is my favorite <laughs> handbag from Bottega and it is the Jody. <sighs> Absolutely love this bag. I'm a top handle girl. I know some people cannot understand that um, because they're like more crossbody people or they need both. 
I like to have both on a bag just to have options, but if I'm gonna pick one, I'm always gonna carry my bag like this. So, this is my favorite bag. I have it in the kiwi color. This is like the original shape, so it's a little more square, and then they started the rounder shape. I have that in black, and then I have this pattern that they came out with, and I'm currently looking for a white one for summer because it's my favorite bag. It's just easy, it doesn't have hardware, it's not distracting, but like the weaving detail adds to an outfit, adds texture. It's just the best bag, it's the best bag. And then lastly, and I got all of these from just like the Bottega Boutiques. I don't think, I think the only bag I bought pre-loved that was Bottega was my red one that I ended up selling. And I did find that on Fashion File for a bit of a discount. And then I have the cassette bag, which I also love, but again, I'm just not, a crossbody only kind of girl. So I had this in the grass green color and I also had it in the caramel tan color, which was beautiful, but I just didn't wear them. Like I would try to wear them all the time, but it was like the only option is this long strap and I don't, I'm not gonna wear it like that. It's just too long. So then I always have to wear a crossbody and it just didn't work for me. So I recently just sold both of those bags. I still have the white one, but I'll probably sell this when I get the Jodi in white. So a lot of handbags, it's just learning your lifestyle, what works for you. Just because you like something doesn't mean it's always gonna work. Okay, so that's all the Bottega I have now. Next up, I'm gonna get like the random bags out of the way that I just have like one of or two of. So let's go through that. Um, this is the Chloe Sunset bag. I absolutely love this bag. It's my only Chloe bag. Um, I always liked this bag and then I... I always liked this bag and then I saw it um, in Italy at a store and it was like on a crazy discount and for some reason, I think it was like towards the end of the trip and I just had already just spent so much money. So I was like, no, I'm not gonna get it. And I regretted it every day. <laughs> and then I went to the outlets in like Palm Springs and it was there, it was in the window and it was waiting for me. So I still got a discount on it and I love this bag. Do I wear it a lot? No, but I just, when I do, I'm just so happy I have it. It does come with a long strap too, as you can see, I took it off. Next up is an off-white bag. This is my only off-white bag. I got this on, I think Saks Off Fit, I think. Um, and it's a top handle. It also comes with a crossbody strap. I just have it inside and it just, you turn it like that and it opens. Um, it's such just like a classic bag. I don't wear this also as much as I thought I would, but I just feel like, I love this shape. I kind of wish it was like in black or white because I feel like that's a little more casual. This just always feels dressy, but I also really still like it. So, <laughs> um, and this was a pretty good deal too. I want to say it was like eight or nine hundred dollars. So, love that. Next, I have two Brandon Blackwood bags, and this is my favorite style from him. Um, I don't remember what the style is called, but this little mini size top handle. I have it in this like orange kind of color, and then this lavender little fuzzy thing that I got for winter. Super cute. I love the size, they're just so cute. And I feel like he just makes such cute shapes. And I love mini bags. If I gotta pick a bag, it's always gonna be a mini. Um, next up is this lunchbox bag from Nicole Lynell. Um, it's a black owned brand. And I always wanted a lunchbox bag, but I was never gonna pay the Chanel prices. And when I saw her come out with this, it's like immediately. <laughs> immediately, yes, it is so cute. It's like suede on the inside, it also comes with a long strap and it's just so cute. It has a little pocket on the back, but I don't think you can fit anything in it, but so cute. Love this. I want to say it was like eight or nine dollars. I mean, I don't know. It feels like real leather, but I don't, I'm not going to say for sure if it is. Um, but of course it'll be linked below and it comes in, a, she just came out with a bunch of colors too. I was thinking about getting the denim. Also comes in red, black. Oh, let's get into Valentino. I have three Valentino bags and they're all the same style because I like what I like. <laughs> and it's the Rock Stud. So I have, this is the older Rock Stud and I have it in denim. It's one of my favorite summer bags. It just, I pull it out every summer and it's perfect with like just, you know, cut off jeans, something white and then just like a pop of denim. It's a neutral, but just a little more special. Um, and I love it, it has a top handle. I always tuck the chains in because it just gets in the way. And this kind of like flat style is just kind of one of my favorite styles too. It has a ton of receipts and things. Um, and I got this on Fashion File as well. These do not have great resale, so I always recommend this brand in general, um, buy pre loved. If it's not something like that's hard to find. I also have it in this black leather with the Valentino on the front. This is just like an edgy rocker kind of bag. 
and I absolutely love it. It's the same exact bag. I got this in Fashion File as well, and I always wanted it. Like, I always wanted this style, um, but they always had it in, like, in white with the black writing, and I was like, I'm not doing a white bag. <laughs> so when I found it, I got it immediately. I love this, and these are super durable. Like, I've had this for at least four years. It still looks brand new, and I brought, bought it secondhand, and it still looks brand new. Same thing with the denim. <sighs> then my most recent purchase. You would have saw it in the New York vlog. This came out of nowhere. When the, the This is the Roman stud, so it's obviously just like the updated version of the rock stud. When this came out, I thought it's cute, but you know, I got my rock studs, I'm good. And then it came out in like a knitted version. I'll pop a picture up and I really still want that. And I was last summer kind of like, oh, it'd be cute to have, but not that pressed. Then I just went on a random shopping trip during fashion week. And literally, as I walked through the doors of Bergdorf Goodman, it was sitting on the counter. Like the door is here, and this was here. And I was just, I was like, luckily I was the first person that I group through the door. And I was like, I just held my hands out like this. And then I was like, how much is this? It was a man standing right there. And I was like, how much is this? In my mind, I'm like, please don't tell me like $10,000. And he was like, oh, I think it's like five. And I was like, uh, is this the only one? And he was like, yes. And I was like, I'll take it. <laughs> Literally, as like the rest of my group was still like coming through the like little turnstile door, they're like, "What did you find?" I'm like, "I'm buying a bag. <laughs> I'm not even risking it. It's, it's it's the most beautiful bag I have. It's suede on the inside. It is just stunning. Pink is my favorite color. <sighs> Anywho, I could talk about that for like a long time. Um, okay, let me go get some more bags. But that's. So we're like halfway through. Okay, I had a few more in the one-off category that I forgot. First up is my MCM Boston bag, which I absolutely love. I've had this for like two or three years, um, and I love this bag. People always ask me to sell it. <laughs> no, I'm not. It comes in handy. It fits a ton of stuff. It also has a crossbody. Super durable. Like, this bag still looks brand new. I love that it's logo or like monogram, but it's very understated it just like has this embossing debossing not sure which one <laughs> but i love this bag it's just a beautiful chocolatey brown love this bag it's my only mcm bag but i love it next one off oh is my coach pillow tabby how can i forget this she was like all the all the rave what a year ago two years ago but again another just good bag i'm not a huge shoulder bag person but i feel like i'm getting into it um, it does come with a longer strap too, and I feel like I wear it like that more in the winter. That's when I tend to wear crossbodies, if I'm gonna wear crossbodies, but it's a great color when I need a neutral. She always comes through. Impeccable quality. Still, again, still looks brand new. Has a little closure, and it stays this like fluffy. Like there's nothing in my bag right now. And it's like this fluffy all the time. Love this bag too. Next, is there any other one-offs? Oh. Um, this one I shared in a vlog from the brand Myrta and they're just a website and they carry all types of brands. So I'm not sure if that was like clear when I did the video, but I love this bag. It's like a croissant. It's just so special. It has a little class. It opens like that. It's just so cute. The brand of this one is Bold Boldini, Boldarini, um, but they're all, all their bags are made in Italy, handmade, great craftsmanship. Um, and I love this one. I also have a green one, but someone is borrowing it. And it's from a different brand. So again, they're all handmade, but they're just, the merger website just holds, houses all the different brands. Hope that was clear. <laughs> Next up, we'll go with, go with Fendi. I only have two Fendi bags, three Fendi bags. <laughs> um, I recently sold one or two, but we'll start with the Fendi first absolutely love this bag um but I do not wear it as much as I thought I was going to and something I realized with most Fendi bags they're just too structured for me structured to me equals like a little more refined a little more sophisticated and it's just not really my handbag style um so that's something I realized I bought this bag in white and it had like snake skin and I just was not wearing it I kept trying to also the white was just a little off-white so it just wasn't doing what I needed to do um, but I still love this chocolate it goes it's a perfect match with like two of my brown boots that I wear um, so this is kind of like these this and the MCM bag get a lot of wear because anytime I wear those boots <laughs> I need one of these bags um, and this bag is just so beautiful like the inside has the monogram 
um and i love it this is a small version as well it comes with a long strap i don't love the long strap i do want to look into getting the gold chain that you can buy separately but yeah love this bag but again it's a bit structured it feels very dressy when i wear it so i don't wear it as much as i thought i would and maybe that's why people like the bigger one but also that's just too cumbersome for me like it's so if i'm gonna wear a big bag it has to be kind of like slouchy and like you know anywho my current favorite Fendi bag is the baguette. I have wanted this like any other Sex in the City fan for years and I just never found the right one. Every season I would look and be like, oh, is there a baguette that's like speaking to me? But I like how this is so, you know, kind of like soft, it's thin. Um, most of the newer ones are very, they're very wide um, and just very, almost like, they're almost like this like how it's just so like wide and dense on the side um and that's why i initially got this to kind of test out how much i would wear it, like this style um so i just it didn't the normal the most recent baguettes before this one they were just almost too modern and didn't give me that sex in the city feel like though the ones carrie used to wear were very like even as it gets older like hers were like very slouchy and just like very sparkly but still casual so when this came out i was like that's it um i got this one in paris um, and it was the only one they had. I was, felt so lucky. And then I have this little mini baguette, which is very old. I got this on the real real probably like six years ago. I was still working at Target. I remember getting this like randomly. I thought it was a regular size and does be in a mini. Um, but it's still just like fun to have. It has a super cute like um, yellow lining. I would wear it a lot more if it was bigger, but it's a cute like little night out bag. And it was like 300 bucks when I got it. That's all for Finney. I have two Jackamoose bags. I don't know the names of these. Le Chiquito, Le Grand, maybe. Um, this was a gift for my manager. And this one I think I got from Farfetch. Um, I don't wear either a ton, but I do like the shape. And I just think they're like interesting and fun little bags. So that's that. These are just open like this. Um, and it comes with a long strap. I'm not a huge purple person, but I had this in my like wish list for a while because I was like, I really like the color and it's so pretty. It'll be a fun pop. So I think I'll wear it more this summer. And then this one just comes in handy and I typically wear this crossbody. It's cute though. Um, okay, now we'll, oh, <laughs> we'll get into Prada soon. Next kind of like one-offs are Balenciaga. I have two and they're both city bags. I always talk about my love for the city bag. This is the kind of big bag I like. Slouchy, casual. I grew up in like, I was a, I graduated in the 2000s, so this was very much all of that. Back then when we were all watching like The Hills and Paris and Nicole, like this, everybody had a city bag and I couldn't afford one then. <laughs> it wasn't even a thought. I had a, I had a Duke from Aldo and when I could, this is my first designer bag. When I could afford it, this is the first bag I bought. Bought it in store. I do not recommend that. These have terrible resale value, but I didn't know that back then. But I love this bag. I'll never get rid of it. I bought it at Neiman Marcus, the one in Tyson's Corner, with my first bonus from Target. And I still have it. And it still looks pretty good. This was like seven or eight years old. And then I recently got this brown with the like big hardware from Fashion File for like 400, 300 bucks. This is super distressed. It's like fraying. But that's what I love about it. The older it gets, the better it gets. I'm also looking into another one right now that's like, I don't even say because it's pre-loved and I don't want anyone to buy it. <laughs> but just know the city bag never goes out of style. I don't care what anybody says. So next up, we'll do Prada. Now, Prada is, Prada, Prada kind of has me in chokehold right now. It was Bottega like two years ago, but now I'm kind of like, not over it, but I've kind of figured out what I love with Bottega, which is the Jokey. So that's kind of like what I'm sticking with. Um, Prada, we're, we're all over the place. Um, my most recent, my most recent <laughs> bag is this bowling bag. It's very much getting 90s. I got this um, during the Prada. They had a friends and family sale. Somebody sent me a link on TikTok. I was very grateful. And I just thought this was so cute. And I got it for like $400. And bowling bags are coming back. Like Prada just came out with more bowling bags. So I just thought this was cute, like something fun for the summer and just to like have fun with the train. And if I sell it, you know, in a few months, I don't feel that bad about it. And pink is one of my favorite colors. Next up, I don't know what this bag style is called, but I have two. 
Um, and I love these. I got this one on Farfetch and it's just like this metallic, comes with a long strap. I wore this bag, this is probably my most worn bag last year <laughs> in 2021. It just went with everything and I just love the size. It fits like my phone and my camera and it like surprisingly fits a lot of stuff. Um, but then it still feels like a mini bag. And then this is one of the newer versions. I got this in Paris as well. It was a little bit of a discount and I don't have a yellow bag. So I was just like, and I knew I already liked this shape. So I felt confident going with this. So pretty. Then I got this, this is the Clio and it comes with a long crossbody strap as well. And I always liked this bag, but I wasn't sure. Um, I did a collaboration with eBay. So I was gifted this bag. I was so happy about it and I've worn it so much like I should have just bought this a long time ago because I've worn it way more than I thought I would. I love a little glitz and extra and then I can pair it with like more casual toned down outfits. Doesn't fit a ton but it fits your phone and like I usually just carry a card holder so does the job for me. And then lastly is this um, little shopping tote I got from Farfetch I think last year or maybe 2020. I know I didn't get to wear it a ton because there was nowhere to go, but this is kind of like a great little like beach bag or just, I mean, I live near a beach, so it's great if I just want to go down there and take some stuff with me. It's a very casual bag, but I feel like it's one of those forever things. Like when will you not need something like this just to carry random things? So <laughs> moving on, one of my favorite brands is Loewe. I only have two. I recently sold of the third one that I had, but Loewe puzzle is my favorite bag and the mini specifically is my favorite bag I just love it what can i say it's top handle comes with a long strap this is the mini and it's in like black white and kind of like this like taupey kind of color um fits my phone i know it seems small but it does fit my phone i got this from fashion file and they have great well they have terrible resale value so you can get a deal basically on the pre-love market um i've never bought one um just like regular price so love 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 these and this one oh, Stunning. I also prefer the puzzle bags in like the different colors. I just think it makes it pop a little more. And I got this from Fashion File as well. Oh my God, it's so cute. And it comes with a tan crossbody strap. These have, these are super durable. Like the summer that I got this, I feel like I wore it every day. Still looks brand new. You can see it does get slouchier though over time. So like the one I just sold still looked brand new. I got it pre-loved. It did look brand new and I barely wore it. So when I sold it, it still looked brand new. Um, but I love, love, love these bags. They fit a bunch, but they still feel kind of small. Um, and they're just so special and unique. It's not like, doesn't seem like a crazy, like out there designer. If you know, you know, it's one of those kind of bags, but it just looks like cool art. Love, love, love these. And the Dior, and I only have three. My oldest one is this Lady Dior. And this is in the small size. It's in this satin and it has acrylic handles. Got this from Fashion File for like 800 bucks. Steal of the century, <laughs> mainly because it's satin and it's used and old and the hardware is not like super pristine, but it's so cute and like perfect for like when I'm going out. It's already dark, so it's not like you can really see it that well anyway. And it does the job, I love it. Um, And then when I was in, I got a few bags in Paris because the, you know, price difference, the exchange rate or whatever, all these bags were much cheaper i've always wanted these little nano bags and i saved a bunch getting it at the dior in paris and this beautiful like fuchsia i don't have anything like it it does not fit a thing if it's a card holder and then i hold my phone uh, but i just think it's so cute so so cute i love the color so that's that and then lastly is the dior 30 montaigne which I am considering selling. I love this bag. It was not, it was never something I thought I was gonna get when I saw this kind of like gradient color. I just thought it was so pretty. But again, it is just a crossbody and doesn't have a top handle, so I rarely wear it for that reason alone. I just, especially in the warmer months, I don't like my bag is like pressed against my body. I'm hot. <laughs> I don't want, I just wanna hold my bag. And I also don't like things like messing up my outfit, wrinkling up my shirt. I just am not a crossbody person. <laughs> so, I'm on the fence about this. I just feel like it's so special. I shouldn't sell it. But again, once I, if I don't wear something long enough, I'm just like, it's gotta go. So I'm still thinking about it, but this is super pretty. It's smooth leather, but um, doesn't like, I feel like it doesn't scratch that terribly. Um, it has the 30 Montaigne on the back, has a nice big pocket in the back. Um, it opens with a little clasp at the bottom and it's fairly roomy. It's everything you need. 
phone. I can put my vlogging camera in here. Um, and it has like a lot of adjustments on the side. So I really like that. It's a beautiful bag. I just, hopefully I'll wear it more this summer. And lastly, <laughs> we will finish with my Hermes bags. I recently became a collector um, in the last year. So I started buying, I bought my first bag in 2021. Uh, none of these bags are from the boutique. Um, my, I don't have the patience. So <laughs> I think uh, as you collect bags and just as you get older, you know yourself. I know myself very well. I don't have the temperament or the patience to, to play the game. Um, I know people who have just walked in and gotten bags and have never bought anything. And then I know people who have spent double and triple what a Birkin or a Kelly cost and they still haven't gotten a bag. And I don't have time for the crap shoot. <laughs> like shopping is fun to me and it's something, you know, I don't have a lot of, I don't plan when I'm shopping. I just like to enjoy the experience, see what I see. And if something like sparks joy in me, then I buy it. So the idea of doing all this trickery and just foolishness literally gives me so much anxiety like that does not sound fun at all like oh is today gonna be the day let me get on the list let me that would make me so anxious and it just would not be fun um i know people have suggested like oh go to paris and you can just try the lottery i have watched pe people's vlogs doing that and they go every day and line up and then try to get that does not sound fun to me. Again, it's because it's me. <laughs> I'm too anxious to do that every day. That would ruin my trip. That would ruin my day. And then I would go in and I don't have the temperament to like dilly dally and like, yeah, I'm kind of looking for a Birkin, but like show me other stuff too. Like, no, I'm looking for this. Do you have it or not? I just, I don't have the temperament for it is my point. <laughs> and that's totally okay. I am fine and, I'm, and I don't want to just take what you have. If I come in and I say I want a red Birkin 30 it with gold hardware, that's what I want. I don't want a maroon one. Um, I don't want a beige one. I don't want whatever you have in the back that you think is acceptable. I want what I said. So, and I know it doesn't work like that. So I will stick to the pre-love market for now. That was a rant. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. So the first bag that I bought, I will pop up the colors and any details on the screen because again, I don't shop like that. I just see what I like and I get it. Um, I got this during New York Fashion Week last fall, 2021, from The Real Real. Um, I would only purchase in store at The Real Real, and then you can get things authenticated online additionally. I will leave authentication places below. But this, again, I'll pop up the color, but this was brand new. This is this was made in 2020. Um, and I just love it. Again, I didn't know what color I was looking for, but I went to Chicago in 2021. And you probably, if you watched that vlog, you saw me try on an orange Birkin there. And that was the one that just caught my eye, but it had silver hardware. So I was just kind of like, meh, it's cool. When I walked in the real, real in New York and saw this with gold hardware, I could not put it down. I had no, no intentions of buying this, <laughs> but I could not put it down. This is a size 30, it's a Birkin. Um, I think this is Togo. Again, I'll put all the details up, but I absolutely love it. It literally has a bunch of crap in it. Um, and I love this size. I think it's perfect for day to day, but it's also great to travel. I can fit like my agenda and I can fit an iPad in here and fit everything I need, like a cosmetic pouch, anything I need. And when I travel, I do this. And I just, this is, this is the whole point of this bag is the utility of it, right? Like I can close it. No one can get into it. I love this bag. I always knew I wanted to work in. I love this. And the orange is such a like fun, but neutral color. It goes with everything. So very happy again, got this from the real real. Then I went to Atlanta to visit my friend and went to a black owned consignment store called Sack Deluxe. And I found this Birkin. As you can see, this is much older than that one. That one was brand new and it's still like, in fairly new condition like it's very still like very stiff upright um this was very old and worn and when i saw it i liked that i wanted another one that i didn't have to like i wasn't so worried about like that was already a bright color and it's super new so like i don't want to take that everywhere and wear it all the time um so this one is again i'll put all the details on the screen but it's from a store called sack deluxe um and i like that it had palladium hardware again just makes it feel a little more casual so this is like the one I travel with 
the most. Still fits the same amount of things, but it feels almost smaller because it's so like, as you can see, it's so worn. Like half of the side of the bag is at the bottom. But I love that. These bags are to be worn. I don't like, like I'm trying to wear the, that one more so it can be like more relaxed. I don't want it prim and proper. I want this to just be what it was meant to be. Like a catch-all, a carry-all, put all your junk, let's get to getting. That's how I like my big bag, so love that. Okay, then this year um, I went to uh, back to New York and I went into What Goes Around Comes Around, which I love that store. I think they just, it's more than a consignment store. It's like they curate the selection and it's just immaculate. They have one of a kind pieces and just like, if you're looking for special things, that's where you go. And I saw this bag. And I just could not resist being off with the color on the screen. Um, it has gold hardware um, and it's just, I really have been into blue. Love this size. Because it's like, I have a lot of small bags. So it's like when I need a big bag, these are my big bags. This or like my Balenciaga City if I want something really, really casual. So yeah, love this. And then lastly, when I went to Paris this year for Fashion Week, again, this I bought this literally at the 11th hour, <laughs> the day before I was leaving. Um, uh, Tanika B here on YouTube. <laughs> I was texting her like, hey, the um, the vintage store I usually go to is closed. Like I went there and it's like shut down. It's not even open anymore. Like where do you typically go? And she, when she texted me back, it was literally like 520 and she was like, they close at six though. Luckily it was down the street from my hotel. So I just, I walked, sped walk, <laughs> walked there. And I found this vintage Kelly and could not put it down. I've never wanted a Kelly because I just, again, I feel like it's a little too structured for me, a little too prim and proper. But when I saw this, it's basically just like fabric. And then this is like a deep navy um, leather. I was like, that's the kind of Kelly for me. Like it just makes it feel more casual. It makes it feel more like a little more eclectic. And I love that. This is from 1967. <sighs> I couldn't resist and I probably wear this the most out of all of these bags because it's I don't know what it is but it just goes with everything I pair it with I'll pop up pictures of course um, and I'll put the name of the um, shop because uh, I follow them on Instagram and you can like they ship stuff too but they had a bunch of like really cute stuff it was very small but they had a ton of Hermes stuff and I just I could not resist so this is my newest bag and the one I wear the most. Those are all my bags. Um, I hope this was helpful. Of course, I hope it was fun. I love handbags. I am a collector, but I also wear these things. Um, I am a proponent of buying pre-loved, of selling bags if it's not working for you. I always sell on my Instagram story. People ask me that. I know it's very, it's easier for me because I have a bigger platform. So obviously I can just sell to my audience, um, but you can always sell on like Fashion File, The Real Real, even what goes around comes around. I would also suggest, again, yelping stores that are local to you for buying and selling because you tend to get better deals. I will link everything below. If you have a question that I did not answer because I know I kind of like sped through, leave it below. <laughs> And we'll be back on schedule, new videos every week. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. See ya.